Повторите вопрос. А вот с уровнем elementary или pre-intermediate не сложно будет учиться? Ну, имейте в виду приемлемо же. В этом группе? Не думаю. Да. Не думаю, если ну, okay. посмотрите. Если будет проблема, скажете. А, хорошо, спасибо. Окей. Good afternoon, everyone. Tony, is that you? Yeah, that's me. Mr. Tony. I think we have some your neighbors from the building, I guess. Uh... Tony, can you hear me? I think our organizer just muted everyone. Can you check your microphone, Tony, please? Because she muted everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just unmuted myself. So we want to welcome you. Right now we have how many people? Uh, 159 people watching you. Um, the rest That's are, great. I think, schedule is not allowing them to join, but they will watch, it, watch us later. Everyone, okay. except Mr. Tony, please turn off your camera, microphone. We want to give mic to our beloved teacher who is going to help us next three months, hopefully. And after that, we will con you will uh, continue in his school. Thank you, Tony. Mic is on you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm really glad to... Um, be here, you know, sharing the, the knowledge and helping others to grow as well. So, and um, I'm happy that uh, we, you know, gave our time, you know, an interest to learn something. And uh, as we already know that whatever we put our minds and whatever we give our time to do, definitely results will surely come out. So no effort will be in vain it will all manifest into something good okay so i believe as we all are here i believe we actually and really want to learn this language and um i'll be i will be um i'll be happy if uh you'll give me the the, the chance to help you do this okay so um I would like to, uh, first of all, uh, start by introducing myself, saying uh, something a bit about myself, then we go into what we have. I don't know, we don't have much time. As I can see uh, the names here. Okay, so um, first of all, please, uh, I would like us to, you know, write in the chat where you're, you know, having this lesson from whichever city, if it's in Bishkek, if it's in any, anywhere you are, just put it down in the, in the chat box so that we um, know how we got connected all together. That's nice. I can see Zarina saying Bishkek, okay? So that's great. Dubai, Moscow, oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Osh, that's nice. Anara, that is good. That is good, Bishkek. That's nice. I love that. I love that. I love that. Okay, so without um, taking much time, also I'm also here in Bishkek. Uh, as you guys already know, my name is Tony. Um, I work. Um, I'm a teacher uh, with seven to eight years uh, teaching, and I'm glad to you know have this platform, a forum to you know help more people to learn this language. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you all. So thank you very much, Karim. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, so this is it. So this is the moment. So I always tell my students that um, life is about taking chances, utilizing your opportunities. Okay. So this is another chance for us to you know learn something and the good thing is we are not in a school you know when we're all kids we find it difficult to like 
uh, you know, to tell the teacher, hey, please, could you explain this or I don't understand this? Looking at other students saying, yeah, yeah, we do understand. So, but now we are adults. And um, if we would go back to school, I believe we will study better, like asking questions, trying to, you know, understand something. That is how learning is. You don't need to be, um, you don't need to, let's say, I'll put it like this, dying in, you know, in silence, you know, like not, you know, asking the question, you know. Mistake also is, please don't be shy to say something because uh, during the course of our lessons, I'll be asking some questions that will help you uh, uh, think and, you know, uh, say something, you know, have a critical thinking and speak as well, because we know uh, learning a language, it's not only by uh, writing, writing, writing and learning, but we also need to practice it. We also need to say something. Okay, so please, uh, if I will ask anything, just, you know, say what you can. And the more you do it, the better you become. And if I see or have any observations, I will give feedback. Okay, so I'll be giving feedback. I might also be interrupting during the course of the conversation and ask other questions. Then again, we'll be looking at some phrasal verbs. We'll be looking at vocabularies. We'll be looking at um, prepositions because I see um, one of the uh, problems people encounter during you know, the course of this uh, language is uh, uh, mostly prepositions. Basically, most are not logical. You know, someone is saying, uh, something like um, uh, in, in, in love with you, you know, a little bit stubborn or for love at first sight. Uh, we glad, you know, it's, it's not something logical, but it's something we should learn and know it. So we're going to be uh, doing a series of these things, starting from the simple ones, the, the time prepositions, you know, like, and all that. But I also need to, you know, have a word with some of us to know uh, actually uh, the level we are. And basically I know that all of us here will not be in the same level. So I'll be given uh, a different approach um, based on your level. Okay, so I believe this will be, uh, it will be a good experience. So please, I will say again, try to utilize every uh, opportunity, ask questions, try to uh, speak when uh, questions are being asked, okay? So are we together? So, so, so very good. I hope I've made myself clear, right? I hope I'm clear. So we gonna be kicking off uh, for very soon. So, one minute guys, let me change my environment. Right somewhere quiet. Okay. The office is coming noisy. Okay, so I believe we all are ready. So I will be picking randomly first. Let's see. Who am I gonna choose now? Let's say. Um okay, let me start with Aruke. Milanova. Are you here, Ruke? Hello, Ruke. Most probably I think I'll start from my list. Okay. Let's make it in order. Okay, Ademi, are you here? Can you hear me, please? Maybe probably you could uh, unmute yourself. Would like to have a word with you a bit. Okay. Hello. Okay. So let's see. Let me go to share. Okay. Only first can share. I would like to share something. Okay. Hello. Okay. Um, Aruke isn't here. Okay. 
um, and uh, Demi as well, no word. Adina, can I, can we have a word? Could you unmute yourself? Is it possible? Adina. Hi. Ah, oh, that's nice. How are you? Okay, and you? I'm fine, thank you very much so. And uh, how are you feeling? Um, great. <laughs> okay, that's nice, that's nice. I hope your day is going well. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so um, I would like to um, ask you uh, a question. So, though I will throw it open, but I would like to hear from you uh, how you, um, as I said, how you make use of English words, how you talk and, and all that. Then uh, I will also throw it open to the audience. If anyone has uh, something to talk about the topic, then we can, okay? Mm -hmm. About myself, yeah? Okay, and she can leave. Oh, okay, no, not about yourself. I will ask you a, a question, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me start from something simple, something not difficult, okay? Okay, so my question goes like this. Um, let's say, well, why do you think why do you think people should work generally? Like uh, people say you have to work and some say, uh, why do we even work? And why do you think work is important for human life? Um, I think many people work uh, uh, for find uh, money, to find, find money. Okay. And um, what else? And some some people love uh, your uh, um, jobs, <laughs> work, and I don't know. Okay, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, it's okay. At least you said something. Okay, okay, thank you. So the, my next question, I will throw it open. If uh, anyone has something to talk about, or uh, if someone, if you have anything uh, to say about this question that I ask now, feel free to uh, maybe probably raise your hand and then. Uh, we have to then we have you have to say what you want to say about it. But before I go there, uh, you said something like find money. We work to find money. Do you know what is to? Uh, you can use earn, okay? Because you know English words. Uh, let's say if 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 you're writing a text or maybe an essay find money most probably will not be uh, a good word to give you the mark you want, but earn is good. It it's, it's, uh, connects with the situation like you work and we work to earn money, okay, to also gain experience and all that, okay? Okay, thank you very much. So I would like to know who else, um, I see from the chat that some people um, can't hear us. Okay, so, but, Please, if your internet is not so good, maybe try to switch to something else so for you to uh, follow our lessons well. Okay, Ayana, yes. Ayana, please, uh, you, you wanna say something about this or should I ask something different? Just wanted to try and see how you express yourself. Okay, but not bad, that's good. Okay, this is a simple one. Let me go to more, something more complex. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you, and you? I'm fine, thank you very much. So, would you like to talk about 
the, the previous question or would you like to have a different question altogether? You ask, uh, uh, you ask why, you, why people uh, work? Yeah, why do you think work is mm -hmm. necessary for people? All people, all people begin your life, begin your life, their life from work. Okay. From oh, okay. work. Yes. Uh, when we was child, uh, we worked and we work all, 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 all our life. And okay. Work it's my my English is very bad. No, 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 it's I, okay. I cannot, it's okay. I cannot find some express words. yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I will also do is this. Um, if you know the Russian version of it, you can let me know. Then I will tell you the English version. Then you write it down for yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Work. Uh, work is. Uh, work is life. Work is движение. Движение more like a uh, movement. Without without work, uh, people uh, nothing. People, people will do nothing. what? Nosy. All people. Nosing, yes, nosing. Nosy. People will be nosy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is gossip? Do you know what is gossip? Don't I, yeah, I don't understand. Do you know the word gossip? Ushak. Ah. Ushak? Yes. In Kyrgyz, it's Ushak. Ah, okay, Ushak. So you also <laughs> mean <laughs> when, when people don't work, that means they might gossip about people, other people, or many things, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I will add one more question to what you said now, okay? Then I uh, would like you to tell us because I know you, you have experience, but I will help you say what you need to say. So some people say that to be successful in life, um, it needs hard work. You know, for you to, you know, get lots of things that you need in life, you have to work for it. But some other people also say that sometimes success also can come without hard work. So, would like you to tell us uh, from the experience you've had in life, what do you think? Does success totally depend on hard work? Or do you think people can also be successful without working hard? I can I add something? Okay. Can I add something? Okay. So I think success depends on being on the right place on the right time. And okay. sometimes working smarter is more important than working harder. Hmm. Sure. Okay. So uh, that's uh, all I can add. Oh, uh, okay. That's good. So, but, but could you um, illustrate more on working smarter? Like, could you differentiate more like uh, working hard and working smart? What are the ways people could work smarter? You want me to elaborate on that? Um, okay, that would be great. smart is, for example, let's say, what can I say? For example, I can choose a job that's on demand, which pays well. Instead of going on a field and working all day long, I could take a computer course and work okay. very short hours and, and make more money. Okay, okay. That's nice. That's also a good way to work smarter. That's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So um, I love that. So now I have uh, some few, a few questions um, 
Okay, so let me let us look at the chat for us. Let's see uh, the comments that we're getting from there. Um, huh? Intellect is very important. Uh, without working hard, without hard work, is impossible to be successful. Oh, Chinara, you say without working, without hard working, is impossible to be successful. Hmm, okay. So Chinara, you were saying that it's not possible for someone to be successful with it, just by luck, by the, the stroke of chance. Intellect is very, I just person okay, okay, for it. Okay, I work to have a freedom to achieve the dreams I have. That's good for you, job. I'm just like, okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Sultanat. Okay, so I see, uh, do we have anyone here that thinks different? Because I see from what I'm seeing, there's some saying uh, in the chat that it's about being intelligent and you have to do something. Okay, let me bring this picture, let's see. Um, I believe um, we all know some of the wealthy people we have in our society. Let's say, take, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo, let's say, for example. If his son decides not, not to work or to do anything, he's not gonna be poor. He has the money and don't you think it's luck? Or maybe you're in a family where someone leaves a wealth for you. What do you think? Does anyone have something to say uh, based on what I just said now? Hi, Does Tony. anyone have any counter opinion? Hello. Uh, my microphone is on. Okay. Could you tell us a name, please? Uh, my name is Sula. Okay. You're welcome. Um, well about um, success uh, and earn the money, yes? We yes, help. yes. Okay, I think uh, the work, the hard work is very um, good chance uh, for the each one, uh, for uh, every people or- Okay. Um, because the um, uh, money, if, you, if we have um, much money, they give us a very good energy and um, the chance uh, have uh, uh, good things, uh, good eat, uh, taste to eat. Um, food, and, uh, tasty food, okay. Yes, tasty food. Um, and uh, we can do everything uh, that uh, we want, yes? Yeah, and, yes. And, um, it's um, give us very good energy and very good настроение. Um, I forget mood. this mood. Yes. Good mood. Good mood. Yes. Uh, I think so. And uh, hard work is um, uh, give us a good chance. The people uh, will be um, will be think about you very good. Yes. Yeah, yeah. If you work, that means people will think positively about you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. This is very positively, or you will be for them uh, each uh, kumir or um, if kumir. you have. What is kumir? <laughs> an idol, um, right? You'll be an yes, idol. Yes. Yes. Uh, idols. If you, uh, uh, if you kumir. will be. Uh, work hard and um, have many much money yes okay 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 so we are saying that there is no way people can make money without working for it that majority of the people with money someone worked someone did something right yes okay that's good thank you so much thank you so much for this thank okay for now you. thank you You're welcome Hello. Hi, Tony. Hi. Hi. I'm Lisa. I wrote you Lisa. before. Um, yes. Can I tell also something about this uh, case? Um, okay. I okay. think if you love what you do, you don't really need to hard work because uh, you will not even notice the hard work. Because when you enjoy exactly. what you do, um, I think hard work is not necessary. You will work hard anyway without noticing it. So uh, just do what you love and uh, do what you like. And I think the hard work 
will come anyway to bring the result. Exactly, exactly. I, I buy your idea, really. That's good, that's good, I love that. Thank you very much. So um, that is very good, Lisa, hello. Hello. Yeah, could you tell us your name? Mm, my name is Elnora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I also want to say about uh, work and money. Okay. I think uh, money isn't uh, the only reason to work. Uh, working can also give us more independence and more control over our, uh, our own life. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, when uh, we work, uh, we are learning new things, getting more skills, Very and good, making friends with people uh, we meet through our job. And uh, we work uh, to provide uh, themselves and our uh, families. Very good. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you very much. So I love uh, the point you're trying to make that working is not basically uh, the, the to, to earn money uh, from work is not the main reason why we work. We also, uh, you know, meet friends, you know, meet people, talk with people, you know, do something. Uh, you know, thank you very much for this uh, point that you just shared now. I also believe that many other people have uh, other points which they would like to, to share with us. Let me quickly look into the chat. Um, okay, I agree with Lisa. If you would like what you do and enjoy it, it will be hobby, not work. Thank you very much. Yes, just as she mentioned, if you uh, do something that you love, it's not going to be work for you. So it's work only for people that are just trying to... Uh, make both ends meet. Who can tell me what is the meaning of this expression, make both ends meet? Let me write it down quickly in the chat box. To make both ends meet, to make, I think there's a Russian expression of, of this, to make both ends meet. I'm just working to make both ends meet. So what does it mean? Can someone tell me what does this mean, to make both ends meet? Meet. You can write in the chat box. You can also uh, most Does probably raise your hand. And pay say the something. bills. Pay bills. How and what pay, do you mean pay by the pay bills. bills? Wow. How pay the, pay the bills? How like a uh, uh, minimum, uh, just enough to make to pay the bills. Okay, just enough to pay the bills. Yes. Okay. Okay. Of course, yes, it is part of it. Thank you very much. So uh, to make both ends meet is more like uh, just money that could just pay off your bills and then give, you know, put food on your table and that's all. Not like uh, you don't have uh, money to uh, save to somewhere or to, yeah, to travel. Wait, man, traveling is even far. <laughs> Not to talk of like having savings, you know, that, that, that could amount that, that you is cannot eat steak enough. with it. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. You cannot eat steak with it. Of course. Of course. That's really good. Okay. So in English, to make both ends meet, he's just working to make both ends meet. So uh, that means he's just trying to survive. You know, he's just surviving, not just, you know, um, maximizing his earnings. Okay, thank you very much. So um, I would also like to see how we know some of the uh, vocabularies and phrasal verbs that I will uh, say now, uh, which, and I would also like us to uh, go down to the chat box as well, uh, make some um, sentences with these words, okay? So are we ready? So they are related to just what we said. We will also come back to you our conversation. Okay, so I believe we've heard this word many times. So as we know, most phrasal verbs have not only one translation, but you know, two, three, and so on. So please, can someone 
uh, explain to me in English what this word pay off means? Tell us as I will well give a you... chance to others. If they cannot, then I will uh, explain. Okay, okay. So let's, uh, the floor is open. Please, I would like someone to attempt, just try, not, don't go into Google Translate. But even if, if you've done that, okay, so try, try to explain to, in English. Let's see, the more you try to explain a word or something, uh, it kind of like helps you to learn other similar words uh, that you could also use, you know, if you don't remember that word. So because oh, speaking yeah. without... Breaking means you, you know a lot. So my name is hello. Agirim. Uh, Thank you very much, Agirim. I so, want to explain payoff. It means uh, when you buy something, uh, you should pay off. When you buy something, or, so if I uh, go to the shop to buy something, or like, yes, things or uh, some sluggy level. I forgot. Yes, you oh, just pay Services. when you buy something. You just pay. Yeah. Pay yeah, off. very this nice. Um, okay, thank you for attempting. But um, well, when you buy something, you just pay. Okay, pay. You can also say pay for something. I paid for my bills. I paid for uh, my house rent. So, but mostly just pay. You know, I need to pay. So, but when you say pay off then what does it mean? It, it, it's something different. Miriam, your hands are up. Please go ahead. The floor is open. We need the translation, someone to explain what payoff is. Should I explain? Uh, let's give them the chance or so to try. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe it's about bringing some benefits. No, no, no. Hello, hello, can I say? No, I'll pay off my learning next month. What do you mean? Okay, 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 okay. go ahead, please. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. How are you? Nice to meet you, Tony. Same here. Thank you very much. Same here. Uh, I think, I think pay off is, for example, you pay off your debts or in past you made some mistakes and now mm -hmm. you pay off uh, for the mistakes because you made. did these mistakes yes okay, you made it for me. this is uh, paid off uh, it can have some uh, meaning yes but um i need that's that's nice to pay off uh, you know, for the wrongs you've done, but mostly to make up for the wrongs done. But that's a good try, but I need, you know, the, the exact, you know, payoff. Okay, let me go straight to the chat. I can't, okay, payoff. You can't unmute, Mary. You cannot, okay. A pay off student loan. Thank you very much. Barry met someone gave uh, a good uh, example here. Pay off student loan. Pay off. Uh, if my enemy offends my family, then I will go to pay off. Uh, not exactly, I Karim. Okay. Yeah, I die. You can answer, of course. Um, hi, guys. Um, Hello. I'll, I'll try to. And say um, meaning of pay off. Uh, for ahead, my mind, you. it is. Uh, for my mind, it is. Um, for example, happiness. We can pay this. Uh, happiness. Um, yeah. Or not exactly. I, no. No. Okay. Thank no. you. So okay. Bye. Thanks for that try. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Thank you, I'm great. I would like to um, try to answer your questions about payoff. Okay, uh, I think it's um, pay something that it's really, you know? Some, it's like uh, something when what? you pay for a course. That, um, it's like a um, sale, uh, yeah, salary. 
It's like a mm -hmm. place for teachers. You know, uh, for example, uh, I <laughs> I go to the courses and uh, okay. uh, and I pay off uh, every month for these courses. And it's uh, pay off my pay off. It uh, will be the salary of these teachers. <laughs> Uh, um, not exactly, not exactly, not exactly, but no. thank you for trying, thank you, thank you. No. So, Elnura, okay, there are some people with the good answers here, so I've seen the chat, that's good, okay, hello. Hello. Hello, what's your name? My name is Daniel. Daniel, welcome, so. Uh, I think payoff it's um, if you pay off a debt, you give someone all the money that you owe them. Okay. Okay. Like, for example, that's nice. That's 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 one of the meanings. Thank you very much for that. Uh, paying uh, some money you took most probably uh, from somewhere, right? That's what you mean, paying, giving the person all the money back. So, so that reminds me, please, do we know what is installment? Is what to call installment payment. Installment payment is more like a you know, like part payment. You know, every month you are given a specific amount of money. Okay, thank you very much. I paid off my apartment. Very good. That means uh, every month, let's say you took a, a credit, like what people say, or you took a loan from the bank, you took a million dollars, then every month you have to be paying back like, let's say $5,000. So this is installment payment. Okay, you are, you are paying back. Um, um, that's, that takes us to pay back anyway. So to pay off is more like to clear off the debt that you have. So whenever I finish that payment, I will tell my friends, yes, I paid off my debt. Debt is more like a uh, doll, you know? So um, then we can have sentences like, when would I be able to pay off this house, you know, credit that I took? So to finish, the debt that you owe is to pay off, okay? So now the second meaning, uh, I think someone said it also, that should be Marim, something that brings benefits, very good. For example, you can say, now that we are studying and working hard, I know that in the future, our hard work will pay off. Okay, so you can say my effort my effort paid off or my effort will pay off will pay off okay i'm writing the sentences okay that's nice that's nice so very good very good so that also takes us to uh the word pay back pay back very good so very quickly i will say uh the first translation of this word which is to uh to return the money you took from someone okay i took ten thousand sums from you i will tell you don't worry uh tomorrow i will pay back that means i will give you back the money so now i would like i would like someone to tell me what is the second meaning of this word pay back okay so please if you have any ideas feel free to uh, let us uh, learn also from you. Tell us the translation, the second meaning of this word payback. You can write in the chat or you can tell us here. My microphone is on. <laughs> and then, okay, no that's good. Is that uh, Mary? No, this is, uh, I'm Ula. And okay. um, I think, uh, which um, pay back, yes, this word. Yes, pay back, have. yes. Pay back. Oh my God. I want to say about Daniel, the, 
pay uh okay pay, pay all um, оплатить yes pay back mm, yes pay back uh, if you um, want to um if you want to buy every everything uh we must to pay back yes uh or <laughs> it's not about this uh um uh, yeah if we take money from someone if for example you you lent me some money and uh -huh. the next question should be when would you pay back tony when are you going to pay uh -huh. back you know when are you going to bring back the money okay i understand if you um if you give um some someone any money and i yes some money uh, okay. i must um, to ask them uh, when they pay back this okay, uh, this, okay. This money <laughs> yeah that is that is the yes you're right that's one of the meanings of this word uh pay back to return the money you take you took from someone so now we're actually looking for the second one so but someone uh good enough someone mentioned it in the group chat uh i think uh, yeah, so, so showing signs same relation okay we've got a favor uh no pay back book okay no if it's for a book no cool. if it's for a book you can say to return the book i borrowed for book you don't use payback pay is only if it's Let's say money. May okay. I, for, for your book, you say return the book. When am I going to return the book? Okay, go ahead. May pay back, yes. it means maybe uh, like uh, you spend your time, your money, your um, health, and you pay back uh, the. Um, you earn when you. Uh, uh, when you spend the money that you earn, you I mean, right? Yes. Mean, your uh, house, spend your the money, money you earn. your time, yes. Okay. You spend. Um, no. No? No. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for trying. I love that. That's very good. It's good. It's, uh, we can try. There is nothing uh, to be... Uh, Sorry about. So, someone, I think Daniel said to revenge on someone. Okay, so the word, yes, I believe you know uh, mostly in English, yes, I missed it, uh, is more like you have revenge, you have also retaliate. Okay, so, but the, 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 uh, it's more like re but retaliate and revenge. Most uh, both are translated in the same way in Russian language, but in English, uh, most especially used in different situations. Okay, let's say for example, um, you did something to me. For example, uh, it was your birthday, and uh, what we do normally is, as friends, we invite each other to you know attend birthday parties. You know. If it's mine, I call you because you're my friend. If it's yours, you're going to invite me. So this time you celebrated yours, but you didn't invite me. So then I said, oh, okay, so that's good. No problem. I'll pay back. So if I say I will pay back, that means I will retaliate. So retaliate is a little bit softer than revenge. When you make use of revenge in English, it's mostly for something serious, you know? Uh, you know, like fights, UFC fights is revenge, you know, rematch, or uh, he killed my friend, I'm gonna kill you, you know, these serious things, you know, the revenge, you know, but retaliate is more like you, it's more like not, not something so serious, like you beat me and I beat you back. Hey, why do you love to retaliate? It's, it's, I'm not gonna use in this situation, revenge. Why do you love to revenge? Okay, so but in a way, it's also 
to revenge or either to retaliate. That is to pay back. I will pay you back in your own coin. When you tell someone in your own coin, it means, uh, let's say, let me write it in the chat. I will pay you back. I'll pay you back in your own coin. So in your own coin, uh, could someone tell us please, what does this mean in your own coin? Okay, so um, please, uh, uh, that's correct, but I would like our chat to be uh, in English language, okay? It's also a forum for us to learn how to write in English as well, okay? Please, you could write me the translation in English and then I'll help you uh, tell you if it's right or wrong and you also check yourself, okay? So let's try to uh, maintain the, the English Theme, okay, so answer with the same coin. Thank you very much. So to hurt someone or do something harmful to someone because they have done or said something harmful to you. Yeah, what is this boy? Okay, very good. I know in Russian language, there is an expression like this. That means the same thing you did to me, that's what I will do to you. Okay, I'll treat the same way. Thank you very much, Suna. That's so good. I'll treat the same way you treated me. Very good. I love, uh, uh, you know, things like this, trying to uh, put something in your own way as well. Okay. Okay. I think this is the Russian version, right? That's nice. Sounds interesting. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. So uh, now let's uh, go back to um, conversation. I will so um, I'll put up a topic of discussion as well, please. Uh, as we do, if you have any idea, please don't shy away. Feel free, say something. I would like the ones that are yet to say anything to say something. I believe there are lots of people here that are yet to you know, say something. Even when you feel that you cannot speak, please, I encourage you to just say something. Even if it's two sentences, that will be enough. The more you say it, the more it helps you, okay? So now let's say a lot of people argue saying that um, the best way to run a business is within the family. So that means uh, if you wanna have a business, it's better to do a business with family members and relatives. But I know uh, definitely there might be some people against this statement. So what and which do you think is better? I would like to uh, hear from us. Tell me the one you feel is much better and give us the reasons why you think this is so. So now the floor is open. Feel free uh, to share your opinions, okay? So I believe we got the, the, the question, right? How running a business within a family is the best way to, uh, to have or to run your business. Whereas some feel it's not the case. There are other better ways to run a business. So which do you think is better? And tell us your reasons. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Kairat. Okay, Kairat. Welcome. I disagree with you because with, uh, with family, uh, it's a bet to make a business, to build a business because uh, with, with your relatives, uh, if, you, if you work with your relatives, they can, uh, they can be uh, they don't take the responsibility for uh, their work. Okay. So that's why I think uh, the business with family is uh, good. It's it's not good. Oh, okay. So which do you think is much better? Which do you think is better than having a business with a family? I think. 
uh, I think the make a business with unfamiliar people, it's a good way. Mm. So you're saying uh, it will be better to have the business most probably with a friend or you're saying maybe with someone you know that has the same uh, mindset like you do. What do you think? What kind of people do you recommend people should have as business partners? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, of course, it is good for uh, people make a business with the same mind, mindset. Yeah. But, but, uh, but it should be not your friend. Yes. Mm. Why? Not your family. Uh, can I share with my answer? Okay, thank you very much. So he's out. Okay, okay, why not? I, I, as, I, he's finished? Okay, so thank you very much for, for sharing uh, your opinion with us. Uh, we really appreciate that. So yeah, go ahead, please. Could you tell us yours? That's Elisa, right? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. I want Hello. to share with my opinion. Sometimes uh, it's good with relatives to work. Uh, if you are a uh, siblings, for example, uh, me and my brother, we have uh, we are business partners. We are work together, and it's very good for me. Mm. Uh, we have. Uh, home rules and work rules and we uh we are all uh, like observe if that you want, if you want to do something uh okay. firstly we uh, uh we i can help you if you know the russian press word absolutely so we 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 talk about it or we have a yeah. conversation yeah we have com uh, conversation we, uh, if we have any problems in a work we first discuss and we, discuss we try to good. solve this problem it's uh, yeah it's easy to rule okay that means you're saying that uh running with a family also has its advantages because you guys have a uh, uh, mutual understanding. I believe we know what is mutual understanding. Yeah, also have a disadvantage. Okay, also. good. Okay, very good. So that is nice, I like that. So please, uh, do you know what is mutual understanding? Could you tell me while you're still here with me? Do you know the word mutual understanding? Yeah. Okay, that is nice. So you're saying that you have this um, uh, mutual understanding with your brother. So that's why things go very well with you, with, with you and him. Right? Thank you very much. Thank you. So please, uh, the floor is still open. I would like to... Uh, get some of the opinions from us. Can I answer? Okay. I think it's a business is a hard way and all per person I want to be have in this way, a reliable person and trust him uh, like fluently. That's why I think okay. uh, the most of our business uh, is uh, run away with family. Mm. So, okay, okay, you're saying the point you're trying to make is saying that uh, for a business to grow, and most of the businesses are with a family, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So why did you say this? Because they understand each other or what else? So why would you say that? Um, well, what are the reasons uh, behind what you just said now that... Uh, Family, we're in the business, we're in the family is the best. Do you have any reasons to give us? Yeah, because uh, in the world, I think uh, we believe 
in our family it's a close uh, person which i have. have this trust very good yeah and that's why in business we hope that it will be a reliable person which uh, can we trust uh, every moment like okay a reliable person okay 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 that is good that is good that is good okay um, hi Come everyone on. Hello. Can I start? Sure. Go okay. ahead. Uh, hi, my name is Azel. And yes, I want to share, uh, of course, uh, my opinion also. Uh, I think that in every business, uh, there will be difficulties uh, without or with uh, family. It's not depends. It's the, it, it depends um, on people, on their behavior. Uh, for example, when I uh, start, uh, uh, on, when I run my business with my sister, and uh, the, there was, in the beginning, there was a lot of, uh, of course, difficulties, misunderstanding, and uh, there was uh, so many problems. Uh, of course, uh, uh, my sister have own opinion in and of course, my opinion, and there was a lot of um, misunderstanding. And but over the time, um, when we uh, it's it's take a time to uh, to get time. one, yeah, uh, uh, to run over the your uh, problem. And uh, over okay. the time, we began to put our priorities and goals in the same direction and um, uh, we start respect each other opinion and mm. and i think that um, uh, business is not uh, easy and uh, it's it's uh, business is uh, patient uh, first time <laughs> yeah yeah you're right i believe yeah. that oh that's good that's can really i good. ask for next thank you so much very good why not why not thank you thank you for that thank you for yeah, your response welcome. really appreciate it okay so go ahead Hi. um in my opinion i think it's not it's a bad idea start to business with family or friends because i think in the future your relation relationships uh will be bad uh, because uh, in a business you have a uh, different position. An example, you can be CEO or, or boss or team lead, and you must be uh, just справедливый. справедливый. You must what? справедливый. You must be uh, fair. Or yeah. Must be, yeah, you must be a just person. Or you must be fair. You must yeah, be. you must be fair, and uh, your family can uh, abide it. Fairly, so not to offend. Now, someone might be offended, so a bit, yeah. a bit yeah. offend. And I think you, it's a better way to find uh, people who. Uh, can trust them, you can trust them, and you can trust, uh, okay. yes, and uh, have a only business relationships and start a uh -huh. business. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love this point of yours, saying that uh, for you to maintain the relationship you have with your family or most probably friends that it's much advisable to not not to do or have business uh, re business transactions or deals with them in order not to lose them okay. yes so I... you're saying most preferably we should go for uh, someone that we don't have that close relationship with but most probably someone we love someone we trust right i, I believe yes. you said so. okay thank you thank you so mm -hmm. much yeah. Hi, Tony. Hello. Hello, how are you? Very good. 
So can I play about something about uh, this question? Okay. Should we work okay. with, very good. Um, very good. should we uh, build our business with our family or not? So I think it will be dependent of the situation and every situation is unique. For example, if we talk about the family business, um, maybe one family is really famous about the making noodles, yeah? Yes. And of course, in this situation, adults or the uh, we like uh, uh, young uh, people we don't have enough knowledge about the making the noodles and our family is um, more good at in this uh, way and if we talk about a more um, maybe a, a modern uh, business like IT or something like this one of course in this situation our parents can be bad at uh, in this yeah and, yeah. But if you uh, feel that you um, and your family in your same wave, I think it's not bad. Why not? Because oh. if you start your business with your family and um, business, it's not um, every time it's not can be success. Sometimes we can be fail. Sometimes we can be oh. uh, success. And in this point, That's I think uh, our family didn't judge us. Yeah. They can be uh, like uh, side by us and uh, support us, I think. Mm -hmm. Can I be next? Okay. What? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, in my Thank opinion, uh, business with your family, um, I think if you have mutual uh, understanding and mutual interesting with this business you can do it and I know um, one case in our Kyrgyzstan uh, who give um, who do it uh, if you know uh, Askar Salombekov uh, which have Dordoy yeah, 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 yes 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 yes, yes. Um, he is a very uh, big business uh, hello. he has very big business uh, yes, uh -huh. and yes. he work with your with his family, um, and uh, in his uh, business, uh, very very. He have many um, many partners with okay. his family. Yes, and uh, his business family, very okay. big. And yes, have many um, good um, projects. Yes. Mm. Okay. I think if you trust uh, your family, it's not. Uh, it's, it's, it will uh, even be the best, right? Yes. Very yes. strong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. So thank you for giving us a real life uh, example of uh, what we are talking about. So hello. I heard someone. Someone. Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Cecilia. Cecilia, welcome. Okay, so uh, go ahead. I uh, can I say my answer? Okay, why not? Uh, I think that working uh, with the family and friends uh, it's a good idea. Uh, but uh, this needs uh, mutual understanding. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, because if there is mm, don't uh, need mutual understanding, uh, then the business will be bad, and uh, uh, and uh, for a family business, uh, you need trust and uh, mutual understanding, and you must work together. Very good. Let's have to work together, uh, be as one, unite, in order to achieve the goal. Can Thank I add you. something? Okay. okay, okay. So basically, I think the answer, the answer is depends. So there are cons and pros and cons for working with a family and working with a stranger. Uh, the, I would say pros with working with advantage of working with family you know that people you can trust them they are sure. not gonna obey uh, they are not gonna betray you uh, sure. the cons i think they might not take 
this they think they might decide that they can get away with a lot of stuff when you are a family Very that's why Pro they can uh, sometimes stay away from their duties that will be that will hurt the business very good thank you thank you very much so uh that's we can uh, thank you so much for that thank you thank you so much for that so you're saying that um it depends on the situation yes it might work good it might not okay so hello thank you hello can I answer this question about family's yes, business? Of course. Of course. Uh, in my opinion, this answer, this uh, this question have uh, two various uh, answers because it's not good, uh, it's not a bad idea, but more important, uh, what skills have your family's members or friends than your relationship? Uh, for example, if I have a choice between the two, two members in my family, one of mm -hmm. them, uh, first, first of them have skills and knowledge in this type of business. Uh, second of them, uh, very my favorite members, for example, yes, uh, yeah. that my choice uh, it is not that my choice is uh, first member because skills and knowledge and uh, uh, more important mm -hmm. than um, in our business. Okay, so you're saying that even if uh, your family member, if they don't possess the qualities that we need in that business, so no need to have them right no need to take them so that before they join uh to do a certain business that means those family members should have the skills i guess right is that what you mean yes it's less important uh who is this person is, uh, uh, strange skills. or family okay. members uh, okay. more important what skills uh, this person oh, have. That's, that's, has i like i like this uh this uh point of view of yours that's nice so yes, skills uh, is uh, much more uh, valuable when making comparisons uh, someone to uh, team up with to do or run a business thank you so much for this answer so hello. i believe we still have other people okay hello how are you hi uh, my name is Birmet. um yeah. i uh, uh, I, I want to say about this um, Sam. Um, okay. I want to say uh, from my own real life, uh, mm -hmm. my husband have a family business uh, with, uh, with uh, his uh, brothers. And uh, I'm against uh, for family business because uh, there is no responsibility. Uh, there is no uh, choice. Uh, his own choice and um, um, in business uh, there will be a boss and сотрудники uh, um, uh, and workers and workers yes, yes. Boss and, staff and, um, and workers. Uh, now workers now uh, in uh, his in our family uh, boss is uh, his brother brother of my uh, husband and uh, mm -hmm. i think uh, every person uh, uh, should develop uh, from himself um, and uh, there is uh, there is uh, there will be a choice family or business uh, Okay. Um, that's all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, it's uh, not easy, but I'm happy uh, people are saying something that is good. The more you say it, the more the language becomes easy for you to use. That is good. That is excellent. I like that. So do we have 
someone else that would like to say because I would love to ask some questions. I got a question from the chat. Hello. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, hello, everyone. Can I say my opinion, please? Uh, okay. I think if you are confident in them, why not? They will support you, but you need to write everything from and to. Um, but it will be very di difficult. Uh, so I recommend that, uh, that you can't do business with friends and relatives because it will be difficult to switch uh, from work and in a friendly way. I think that. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing that. Thank you. So let me ask quickly, do you know what is to underestimate? So, who can tell me what this is? To underestimate someone or to look down on someone or to look down on someone. We know what does it mean to look down on someone after that we're going to look at offend okay very good need that ten of it okay so you're saying that family members might look down on us okay they say hey i know you man you're my brother why should i respect you okay or well, why should i uh you know why shouldn't i talk to you the way i want you know they will start to look down on someone so to look down on someone is like um to underestimate someone, okay? Saying that this guy is nothing. I know him very well, you know? Okay, so thank you very much. So now let's look at this word again. We talked about offense, okay? Offense, sorry, offend. Let's look at this word, okay? The, this word offend, abided, okay? But in English, it also has, um, uh, other ways to use it in English, which I would also like us to know and to learn. So because in this uh, forum, I will also uh, will be bringing in uh, vocabularies to help us move from this level to a more advanced level in English. Okay, so but there are some things that uh, that are necessary for us to learn. Okay, like uh, the meanings of most words that we see. So as we know, we see offend, a bit it. Yes, very good. So let me write this sentence and see if we can uh, tell the translation of this with this word offend as well. Let's say, um, uh, he, he, he is always, okay, this is easy. He is, let's say, okay, let me write all the forms. He is really, okay, another one. He's easily offended. Another one, uh, let's say, let's say Real Madrid is always, let's say, always on the offensive. Always on the offensive. I believe this is a popular football team. I believe we know this football team, Real Madrid. So if someone says Real Madrid is always on the offensive. So for those of us that watch football, uh, you will hear this word most of the time being used in sport, you know, to be offensive. Okay. Uh, who can tell me what this means before writing other ways to use offend? Very good. So someone says, please, uh, as I said, I would like to uh, see the chat in English language. It's also helping you, okay? Uh, please write your comments in English. So someone said Real Madrid, very good. It's more like they are always attacking, you know, 
moving forward it's like the opposite of uh 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 offend is defense you know you can be offensive or defensive defensive is when you're defending such a shy so offensive is when you are attacking attacking all the time so then offensive words so you can also say offensive these are offensive words very good so uh, no offensive words no abusive words okay it can also come abusive words please that is matashina okay so he offended me i offended you so don't be offended okay thank you very much i, I believe we now know how to uh, use this word okay so someone also mentioned something like uh, spread the living. Okay, when I say fair, okay, someone said spread the living, it's more like being fair. Okay, so, but there are other ways, there are other words in English language which are also translated like spread the living, but used in a different situation. Okay, so we also know that this just also, it's spread the living. Okay, it's just is not. Tolka perivodita in English. Okay, you can say he is a just man. Okay, I'm trying to be just. I'm trying to be just. Okay, right? It's a bit spreadly, you know, like, uh, you know. So he's a just man. Okay, yeah, from the word justice. Yes, he came from justice because we need justice. So, then again, you can see something like impartial. So impartial, um, which we have the Nisprad Livi like partial. Okay, so partial, let's say, um, so impartial is Sprad Livi, but most of the time, um, this word is used when you have situations uh, of, of uh, judgment or, or competition. No, let's say judgment. Let's say you are trying to uh, settle a case, for example. Uh, okay, let me use a very simple, something that we know. Uh, okay, someone said the impartial decision about Will Smith. Yeah, it could also be that, you know, where you have someone trying to, to judge between you and someone else. If I start saying that this guy is right and this other guy is wrong, okay, someone might say that, hey, you are partial because why did you say that this guy is wrong and this guy is right? It's more like I am taking sides. In English also, you can call it to take sides, okay? To take sides. I don't like taking sides. I'm not partial. Okay, I'm not partial. So to be partial uh, is more like taking part. You know, you are like I am not strong. Like he's from Isiku, and I'm also from Isiku, and I'm gonna say he's right even when he's wrong. You know, so when people notice things like this, they say, "Hey, you're being partial." Okay. Also in sports, let's say, "Hey, this team is playing. This team, other team is playing," and sometimes. The referee or the umpire might be biased or maybe taking sides, then people start saying uh, he's being partial. In situations like this, people don't say fair, okay? You can say the referee was partial or uh, the, 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 the police officer was partial in his judgment, okay? That means he was taking sides, okay? You are settling an issue, an issue between someone. You're settling a conflict between two friends you're, you're trying to favor one side, okay? So you are saying, uh, hey, you are being partial. I don't want to be partial. I just want to be fair, okay? I need to be impartial. So then fair, justice, partial, impartial. Okay, so then that's it for spread living. So there are other things also, which I would also like us to learn. So this time, um, I will be asking, 
uh, some vocabulary question. We'll be going back to we'll be going back to the conversation because I would like us to speak more to practice more. I don't want to be doing the talking myself, but sometimes I would like to teach one or two things for us to learn. Okay, so. So if you are with us in the lesson, if you're learning something, please, I would like to see uh, the thumbs up in the chat, please. Could we send some thumbs up? I would like to know if we, you guys are understanding what I'm teaching. If you have questions, please feel free to ask. So teachers are impartial. Very good, very good. I like that. So. So another thing that is very good. So another thing uh, that I would like us to learn now is, let's say, because a lot of people get confused with this. Let's say it's pizzana. Let's say it's pizzana slama on my telephone. What is, what do you think, pizzana? That is very good, that is very good. I. I'm glad we are learning this. That is good. That is good. So please, this pizzana slamal my telephone. What is the word pizzana? Um, what should it be in English? No ideas, okay. Special, 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 yes. I'm seeing the special and the special stuff. Okay, not bad, that's a good try. So I'm saying intentionally, you're on purpose, Mary, on purpose. Okay, that's good. So why I mentioned this is, uh, I'll be looking at some words also that get people so much confused, you know, when translating from Russian to English. Okay, so uh, most, most, mostly people say special when it comes to Spitzana. Yes, it has a way, it has a translation or meaning as uh, something being special, but I will show you when to use special and when to use the other, the right form of Spitzana. So when, we talk about actions, okay? Just, you know, you're doing something. Uh, uh, it's an action of taking the phone and breaking it because you made me angry. I was angry. You made me do it. So I broke your phone. So the action tells us whether to use special or intentionally. So there are three words, uh, three, uh, you know, words in English that says uh, spitzana. So you mentioned one intentionally. Very good, intentionally, deliberately, and purposely, right? So these words, let's say for example, you purposely hit my phone because I offended you. Okay, so these, yeah, these are the synonyms. You can say you deliberately broke my phone. I purposely didn't go to the cinema yesterday because I didn't want to see my friends there. Okay, so now these words can also change forms when it comes to uh, third person. Let's say when you're saying it was like in the past, it was intentional. Don't say it was intentionally. No, because it was intentional. It was on purpose. Okay. It can also be it was deliberate. Okay. So then accidentally also to China. Okay, accidentally, I accidentally broke your phone. So mistakenly, mistakenly. Okay, so now 
when you use pizana like a special, you know, special is when you refer it to something, okay, um, like uh, an item, okay, not an action, like someone or something, okay, that we could most probably see or feel, okay. For example, today is your birthday. So I believe if we want to make you happy, we should put a special song for you. So you see, the song is not an action, you know, like to put the song. Why are we playing this song? Why are you playing this? Because it's your birthday. It's a special song for you. Okay, so I can also go to Tum. I can intentionally go to Tum to buy a special phone for my mother. You see, that phone is a special phone. So I didn't buy this phone for anybody. I will just give this to one person. It's a special phone. So that is when you talk about things, you know, mostly something you can see, touch, you know, feel. So, but intentionally has to do with the action part. So now is the time for you to make sentences with this word. I would like to see in the chat box, make sentences with this word intentionally, mistakenly, or accidentally, as you wish, write it down now in the past, in the future, in the present, as you wish. Let me see how well you understood this word. As you know, if you are able to make a sentence with a word, that means you can use this word in your speech, okay? So making a sentence with a word helps you to know, can I use this word? Because sometimes you can know the translation of something, but to make a sentence with it becomes a problem. So I made a cake. Mm, okay, I made a special cake for my birthday, okay? So you said I made a special cake, not cake special. It should be the other way around, okay? I made a special cake. Okay, someone would like wants to say something, make a sentence. So I specifically went to the central department store to buy my mother a special gift. That's lovely. I love this one. That is nice. Okay, today is a special day for me. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to um, pop. I'm going to Papa's. No, 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 no. So you can say today is a special day for me. I'm going to buy things for myself on Popo's, okay? Or I will purposely buy good things for myself, okay? So I was very tired, so I accidentally fall asleep in the bus. So it should be, you see, you are talking from the past things, from the past tense, which says I was very tired. So that means procession. So it should be, I fell asleep in the bus, okay? So I fell asleep in the bus, but that's a good sentence as well. Nice one. So I purposely followed the Instagram of Academy to learn. Thank you very much. So you see, I didn't just um, stack nutsa. Okay, we're gonna learn this also, stack nutsa. Okay, we're gonna be learning this thing. Come across. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so let's finish with this so i booked a room special for you no i booked a special room so it should come before the object okay so i bought i booked a special room not room special okay it's like the adjective big room so not room big okay so it should describe the room itself first. So ask her to marry me. I booked, okay. So I will intentionally ask her to marry me because she is special to me. Uh, understand a little more problem. I intentionally visited this museum to see this picture. That is good. That is good. I love this. So we made a special source. That's nice. Actually, bought 
So I intentionally buy for him this book. So I intentionally bought this book for him. Okay, you corrected the sentence, but that is nice, right? Okay, I intentionally bought this book for him. So, so English sentences should go in an orderly way. So, but she will go here, not for him. So it should be the book, then Kamu, then for him. So this is a special money for my very good. Okay, International Women's Day, international. So this is international, not, this is intentional, not international. Okay, so it was, Intentional decision. Very good. It was intentional decision. So thank you very much, Sanat. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Those good words. I love that. Okay. So tomorrow is a happy new year. So therefore, the government, especially the Korea, thank you very much. So the government will. Yes. Very good. I booked a special big a a special. Big room for you. Very good. So, okay, that is good. I intentionally returned her money. Very good. I intentionally, intentionally, it was built in the style. It was built in the with a style. So I will cook today special food today. Not bad. I'll cook a special food. So he didn't intentionally go to school because he wasn't ready for class. Very good. So I especially went to the cinema to see this movie. No, 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 no. Celia, I especially went to the cinema. No, you say, you see, it's an action. You went, Virginia. Okay, so it should be, I purposely went to the cinema to see this special movie. Okay, or just to see the movie. Okay, so thank you for that. So I wanted to be the best for best in football i intentionally bought a best boots i bought the best boots i bought a it should be the best because you see good better best so this is the best okay so i bought the best boot okay or i bought a special boot for that okay it's a special person for her okay sorry okay thank you so much didn't you get what special day today is? Not bad, thank you so much. I love these things. Okay, thank you so much everyone for, for this. So if you're learning something, please feel free, put plus in the chat box or you give thumbs up. Okay, so this probably will be, let's keep on, let's keep on. Okay, so thank you so much. Thank you so much. So that, we go to the next uh, question. Uh, most probably will be the uh, the final question for today. Thank you so much. I like that. We have a special personal teaching methods. That's so cool. So, so I accidentally broke my mother's cup of tea. Thank you very much. She especially wants to see the scene. She she intentionally wants to see this movie because favorite actor plays so intentionally wants to to see see is a, is a verb so he's an action so so that's good anyway it was a special day for her this is why she purposely wore her special dress ah that's nice i love this, com this combination i sulu that's great okay so i intentionally made i intentionally made surprise for him so i made a surprise so you know surprise uh, in this situation it should be it's quantitative you know it should be counted we should know how many surprises you have for him so i intentionally made a surprise for him so a so we lost one or made surprises because there are surprise could be counted you know so in this situation you just need to add a or surprises okay thank you so much Arcel. so the Thank you very much. I like that. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's good. So now, oh yeah, yeah, most probably that would be uh, nice. Also, Lisa, that would be good. So that people could 
say something, share their opinion, and also say the sentences out. They especially interferes me to learn English. They know, not especially interfere. So they intentionally, they wanted to interfere, you know, for mesh with. So they, he intentionally interferes, okay, whenever I want to learn English, not interferes me, okay? Why are you interfering? Because it's interfering. So it should be mishait, okay? If you want to say mishait, Minya, okay? Better met. So it should be, he intentionally disturbs me. So disturb is more like, Mishait, okay. Atlikait, atlikait should be distract. So you can also say it's me, okay. With this, you can use strazo me, but when you use it in interfere, no, don't say interfere me. So because it's not you interfering, the person is interfering between you know what the, what is going on the process <clears throat> or between two people. Yes. Yes. Very good. I intentionally study English to go to USA. That is good. That is good. That is good. Okay. Um, one minute. Okay. That is good. Okay, so now um, I would like us to uh, Hello? 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 Have I been yeah, off yeah, totally. for long? Have I been off for long? Because I've been explaining all this while, but I just checked now and I saw uh, my mic was on mute. Or was it just now that it happened? It's now just happened. Okay, it was just now. So uh, that's good, that's good. Okay, so. Okay, so please, I would like us to um, talk again before we learn something else. So now, please, I would like us because we, you know, you see, um, there are some things that happen in our society. Let's say, for example, you see, as time is going on, things are changing, right? Let's say not the clothes that we used to wear 500 years ago that we are wearing at the moment, right? So you see, things are changing, fashion, everything is you know, changing with time. So what do you think about uh, changes in some traditions, okay? Because you know, most of the traditions that we uh, observe this at this moment, they were made, uh, let's say years, many, many years back. So do you think tradition should also change like we changed as well, okay? Or do you think should tradition remain the way the, 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 our forefathers left it to be? Well, what's your opinion? Do you think traditions should change as trend and life is changing, or do you think traditions and uh, rules should remain the, the way it should be? So you give us your reasons as well as you tell us, okay? So the floor is open. Feel free to share your opinion and your ideas, okay? So Sunat, please, I would like you to come live here to share this opinion. So you say tradition, should uh, You, you want me to come live? Yeah, I would like, yeah, to hear people say something, yeah, live, yeah. So uh, I think um, we should eliminate the traditions that doesn't serve us. Uh, we have so many traditions in Kyrgyzstan that takes our life back for example somebody passed away we cannot bring that person back but we spend so much money so that only people didn't judge us we just spend so okay. much money and even we don't have that money we borrow that money from banks and spend or when we are getting married if we don't give enough money 
we just spend so much money not to stay behind from other people. And those things are not serving us. We should uh, keep the traditions that uh, takes us to better life quality, you know? Okay, okay, okay. So you're of the uh, opinion that things should be changed. You know, be changed. Up if, the, it, if they are not okay. serving us, we should eliminate it. Change them. Very good, very good. I think I concur with you. Okay, so thank you for that. So that I also want other opinions from other people as well, please. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hi, so. everyone. Uh, your mics are on. Thank you very much, Tony. So uh, you can start one by one answering Tony, okay? Okay. I think that traditional is uh, mustn't change because it's part of our uh, history and uh, it's a part of things which makes our country like a special country uh, which uh, has difference from other countries. With tradition, we have some uh, resuming. What? We have some work. Could it's you repeat, please? Izuminka, because this for me. Izuminka, I don't understand which things. Uh huh. It makes country uh, different from other countries. Uh, makes something it's unique, right? So it makes it's these are the things that makes the country unique. Uh, okay. Makes difference. Okay. Yeah, that's why I think that the traditional mustn't uh, be changed. Traditions must be kept the way it is, right? Yeah. Okay, because you gave us the opinion that uh, these things are the uh, the unique attributes of every country. These things makes a uh, country, you know, different and unique, you know? Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so... That means you are okay with all the traditions at the moment, right? You don't feel like changing anything, right? It's not all uh, for all. Or do you have do you have some things you would like to change if you have the chance to do so? Yeah, I think it's a point of some uh, older people of tradition. Hmm. I don't get. It. Could you repeat, please? I, I want to change uh, some uh, very old, and to, uh, it's not like tradition, but uh, most of people think that tradition. Okay, most of the people take it to be a tradition, but you want to change the way most people think, right? Especially yeah. the. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. <laughs> May I? May I? Yes. Uh, so I think traditions are divided into good and bad. Some of them uh, make good sense and some doesn't. And I'm glad that uh, traditions of Kyrgyz people are changing now a little uh, because some of them are uh, out of ordinary. <laughs> For example, mm -hmm. kidnapping a, a bride. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's, yeah, I it, it's maybe it's maybe it's maybe have been normally in the past, but now it's terrible. I think, and okay. we live in civilized world, and we okay. should uh, behave ourselves accordingly. Ourselves. Very, very and I am very glad that some of our traditions are changing. Okay. That's all. Thank you very Thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Can I answer? OK, go ahead. Uh, I think the traditions uh, doesn't, uh, doesn't need to change 
because the tradition is a part of us and if we change the tradition and we we can for, forget what we are and where where are we, where we are and what are we so that's why but uh, some point of traditions like uh, we can el eliminate and okay yes it, if it is if these traditions can bring in a bad way some things okay. we can we can eliminate this like this like of traditions like the previous person says i said the bride, the bride. Mm. that's kind okay. of okay okay thank you very much so uh, we, uh, I see uh, some uh, with the point that uh, this shouldn't be changed because when it changes, it, it might make us to forget where we came from, who we really are. Okay, we're, we're not change it and let it suit our modern day uh, requirements. Okay, so I, I believe also like uh, this, um, it might be an endless loop. Okay, so, but I believe each decision or opinion is right. So most probably, uh, I'm not here to judge anyway, but uh, to uh, look at the, the way you make use of this, the, the, the English in your speech and also give you the uh, forum to, you know, practice with it. So thank you so much, everyone, for uh, your points, your opinion. So before we continue, so I would like to uh, put in one or two things. Let's see if we know this. So do we know what is phase in and phase out? What do you think? Tell me, what is phase in, phase out? Make a guess. Or would you like me to come with uh, an example? Okay. Um, hold it. Okay, please. I would like uh, this to be in English. It will make uh, sense and it will help other people to learn as well. Okay. Okay. So, um, let me make a sentence. Let's see. I can say that. Um, uh, um, let's say black and white and white TV has totally have totally totally phased out. What do you think? Black and white TV has totally phased out. So, so that means nobody is making use of it anymore. Okay, so now people are making use of a color TV. Thank you very much. It's most, more like out of date. It's outdated. Very good, very good, very good. I like that. I like that. So thank you very much. So who can tell me what this means to meet someone unexpectedly? Which word can we use in English to say to meet someone unexpectedly? To meet someone unexpectedly. To meet someone unexpectedly. Let's say I met my friend yesterday unexpectedly. Which word can I use in English? I met my friend suddenly. Okay, I suddenly met him. Very good, it's a good one. Life is changing. Okay, life is changing. Phase out. No, not a good sentence. Uh, I would like to know what you mean here. Life is changing. Phase out. Okay. Uh, come across. Okay. Yeah. But um, for people, not come across. Can I answer? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Sarah, it's a phase in. It's like the in the future. We the the inventors create the 
uh, like electricity, electricity car. Yeah. Electric cars? Electric cars. And it's a phase in, like. Oh, uh, very like, good. Thank you very and, much. And nowadays, in all the people uh, take the electric car, it's like phased in, phased in electric car. So you say electric cars are phasing in? Phased in, yes. Electric, yeah, electric cars are phasing in. Electric uh, cars are phasing in, okay? Uh -huh. So people have started making use of it. It's in, it can also say it's in vogue. You know, you know what it means to say that something is in vogue? If you say that something Great. is vogue, it means more than suggest, okay? I can say, uh -huh. man, iPhones are in vogue now. Why are you making use of this Android? So it means mother, okay? Or it, something can be in vogue or not in vogue. I wrote it down in my chat, please. You could also see, yeah, more like a trend. So it's in trend, not in trend. Okay. Okay, so for people, let me give you, I believe, have we seen the, what do you do we know what is bump into and also the similar word to that is run into so in english push button phones phase oh yeah you can say uh uh button phones has phased out or have phased out so that means nobody makes use of those things anymore thank you very much so feel free also uh, to, to write other sentences as well. I would love to see them, okay? So let me continue with what I have because we have a limited time now. So bumping to run into actually is used when you want to say you met someone. So when you meet someone unexpectedly, I will say yesterday I ran into my classmate i ran into my classmate in asia mall so that means you're trying to tell us that you met this guy you know like it happened uh, spontaneously so you can also it can also be i bumped i bumped it can also be i bumped into my ex i bumped into my ex in the mall okay so when you bump into your ex what do you do smile or cry or laugh <laughs> okay i know most people wouldn't want to just bump into their ex well some would wouldn't mind anyway okay so that's by the way <laughs> i tripped and hit my face down of course <laughs> You have too many exes. Okay, that's so funny. Okay, so I was unexpectedly giving an iPhone 30. No, okay, so I you bumped into your ex and you unexpectedly got an iPhone 30. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you run away. Okay, okay, so when you meet someone unexpectedly, of course, sure, this is what you make use of. So running, run into or ran if it's in the past form then bump into. So not only meeting people, for example, uh, we can also uh, say that he bumped into me or the car bumped into the tree. You know, it could also be stuck notes, you know, like to hit something else. Okay. So he was looking at the beautiful girl and he bumped into the electric pole or the tree. You know, sometimes we hear people bump into other people looking at, you know, being distracted, looking at something else. So a car can bump into another car. So they could bump into each other. So it depends. So, but for things, this is much preferable to use, come across. So for things or life situations, come across is suitable for this. So for example, I was going through my Instagram yesterday and I came across your picture with someone. And who's that person? One guy like that, he was tall and all that. So, ah, uh, that's my classmate. Okay, so you see, this is, you didn't know that you're gonna see 
this guy's picture when you were going through your Instagram. But bam, all of a sudden you saw it. That means you came across this. Okay, you stumble upon something interesting. Yes, it might be interesting. It might also not be interesting anyway. So, because you could also say, when I was dating him, I came across a lot of ugly situations. You know, something happening without you being aware of it. Yeah, I came across an interesting article. Yeah, very good. So you were reading your paper. That is so good. I love that. And then, wow, boom, you saw this article. And that's interesting. You came across it. That is nice. So please, I need more uh, examples, sentences with this bump into come across. Okay. So please write to the chat box. I would like to see your sentences. Okay, okay, okay. So I believe uh, the things that we dealt or talked about today uh, was probably the, the easy ones. That is good. We have to be learning like this gradually. Vocabularies we gather, we try to make sentences with them. And if you have any challenges or things that, that are not clear to you during your course of studies or learning this language, feel free during the lessons to ask, okay? Talk about something. So I will stop this for now. So I would like to hear from us. Do we have anything, any question that would like to ask concerning this lesson or something else? What do you have to say? Please feel free, this is the time before our lesson closes, okay? So any questions, anything, any observation? Hi, Tony, before you end, I just wanted to thank you from Mark. Hi, you're welcome. Thank you too. And I hope for the next time we, uh, as an organizers, will be much more prepared I'm so sorry. The next time we will let you share the screen and everything because today I don't ah, have an okay. access for that. Ah, uh, ah, it's okay. Thank you very, very much. Really. Really. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, are we wrapping it up? Yes, I guess so. Thank you, Tony. Uh, you are, I love your teaching skills. Um, I think we are very lucky to have you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. So I wish each and every one of us a wonderful evening in all that we're gonna do. I wish you good luck. Let's keep studying. See you next time, same time on Wednesday. So bye everyone. Take care. Thank you, bye. Okay, okay, bye. Hi, I, uh, everyone, uh, I need to go out as well now. Uh, Sam, are you still here? Okay, so they left. I'm here. Oh, okay, Sam. Uh, would you like to say anything? So is it recorded? Yes, it is recorded. Yes. So you want me end the press the end, leave. Sorry. Do you want me end the Zoom? No, no, it's fine. But I just wanted to say, uh, would you like to say something? Would you like to say anything? Uh, do you have anything no, to add? No, we will, we will continue in, in a group chat. Okay, because, uh, you know, today, for example, um, the Zoom management was not so good because I didn't have the computer. So for the next uh -huh. time, uh, everything will be organized better, okay? 
Um, Absolutely. Guys, you know, um, I'm sorry for this inconvenience as well. And you were great. Um, yeah, we want to say uh, thank you English. for everybody uh, for you're coming. Doing really great. And, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I, th I, I think organization was, was organization was best. okay. Thanks so much, Lisa. I think organization was okay, fine. Thank you. I did my best. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.